in this lecture we are going to study next type of problem to design the dfa so number of a is divisible by 2 and number of b is divisible by 3 so the type of problem is there are multiple divisible by conditions and they are on different symbols here divisible by 2 is applied for number of a's divisible by 3 is for number of b's previously we have seen multiple divisible by conditions but they are on same symbol here they are on different symbols now when we studied cross product of the dfa we have studied number of a's divisible by 2 and number of b's divisible by 2 and we designed this dfa now we are going to extend same logic for this problem statement now in this state if processing of a string ends in this state what it means is number of a's are even and number of b's are even or we can say number of a mod 2 is 0 number of b mod 2 is 0 for this state number of a mod 2 is 1 that is number of a's are odd number of b mod 2 is 0 that is number of b's are even so in any state this first number is for number of a mod 2 this second number is for number of b mod 2 we are handling a's vertically and we are handling b's horizontally now we are going to extend same logic for this problem statement now the condition is number of b's divisible by 3 so we take three states to handle number of b's so in this row we are handling number of b's horizontally we have to add this loop and we mark transition for b now at every state we have to handle a also vertically so at every state we have to handle a is vertically so here we add another state and handle a is and same in these columns also now we have to handle b's in this row also we are handling b's horizontally so we add transitions for b in this row also so this completes creating states and adding transitions now we will name the states in this state number of a mod 2 is 0 when we when the processing of the string starts it will come here even if the string is empty number of a's is 0 so number of a mod 2 is 0 then a a number of a mod 2 0 similarly for this state number of b mod 3 is 0 for number of a's we have to consider mod 2 for number of b's we have to consider mod 3 coming to this state number of a mod 2 is 0 number of b mod 1 number of b mod 3 is 1 number of a mod 2 0 number of b mod 3 2 so in this row number of b mod sorry in this row number of a mod 2 is 0 for this row number of a mod 2 will be 1 so for all these three states number of a mod 2 is 1 here number of b mod 3 is 0 number of b mod 3 1 number of b mod 3 2 now we have to mark final states according to given problem statement now according to given problem statement number of a mod 2 should be 0 divisible by 2 now there is and condition here we have and condition number of b mod 3 0 so the first number is for number of a mod 2 the second number is for number of b mod 3 we require 0 0 so we mark this state as final state there is and condition both these conditions should be satisfied so we mark only state 0 0 as final state and this is the required dfa for this problem statement 
Now let's consider variations of this problem. Now consider this variation number of A is divisible by 2 or number of B is divisible by 2. So number of A mod 2 should be 0 or number of B mod 3 should be 0. So here number of A mod 2, number of B mod 3 both are 0. We mark this as final state. Here number of A mod 2 is 0. We mark it as final state. And we mark this also as final state. In this state, number of B mod 3 is 0. We mark this state also as final state. So for the condition number of A divisible by 2 or number of B is divisible by 3, we have to mark these four final state. So this is the required DFA for this problem statement. Now let's consider next variation. Now the next variation is number of A is divisible by 2 and number of B is not divisible by 3. So number of A mod 2 must be 0 and we have to satisfy both the conditions number of B mod 3 not equal to 0. Now in this state number of A mod 2 equal to 0 but number of B mod 3 is also 0. So this condition is not satisfied. This will be non-final state. Here number of A mod 2 is 0. Number of B mod 3 is not 0. This should be final state. And same over here. Number of A mod 2 is 0. Number of B mod 3 is not 0. This also should be final state. Now in all these three states, number of A mod 2 is 1. So this condition is not satisfied. So for this problem statement, we mark these two states as final states and this is the required DFA. Now let's discuss number of states. In this type of problem, divisible by condition is on different symbols. If divisible by condition is for same symbol, consider number of A mod 4 equal to 0 and number of A mod 6 equal to 0. So in this type of problem, we take LCM. LCM of 4 comma 6 equal to 12. For this type of problem, we require LCM of 4 and 6 equal to 12 states. But here divisible by condition is on different symbols. Divisible by 3 for number of B's. Divisible by 2 for number of A's. So we cannot take LCM. We must take product or multiplication 2 into 3 equal to 6 states. So number of states is 6. If in this type of problem if we consider number of A mod 4 equal to 0 and number of B mod 6 equal to 0, we will require 4 into 6 equal to 24 states. Divisible by condition or the mod condition is for different symbols, we will take product not LCM. So this is regarding number of states and how to handle this type of problem statement.